overruled. Yeah. Let the show be. Let's go. Questions about his true identity? Let's go talk to him and find out.
Wait, did, uh, did I hear that right? Monsieur Nirvalet, are you sure you'd like to take over the case yourself? That's right. No, but why? Technically speaking, cases like this are better left to the guards. Nirvalet! Sadine! Hey there! What are you two talking about? Ugh, Traveler and Paimon, please help me talk our Chief Justice out of this. He wants to investigate a case on his own. No, this is completely unprecedented. How can we have the Udex acting like a private detective? Hmm? Thank you for your concern, but I currently have no such plans. Oh, apologies, I took your question in earnest, but it now occurs to me that it was most likely in jest. So, what is it exactly? It sure sounds serious if it's something you've got to investigate personally. A Melusine named Kiara received a threat letter. And then? That is all the information I have acquired at this stage. Huh? Uh, I have no idea why you're so hung up over this. I've checked the schedule in advance and it seems like there aren't any trials today. So, if you insist, I have no objections. Thank you for understanding. Then I shall return to my post for now. Should anyone visit while you are away, I will be sure to make a record of it. I sincerely hope that you will return soon. Judging from Sadine's reaction, it must be pretty rare for you to investigate stuff personally. What's so special about this case? I cannot tell you just yet, but it reminded me of certain past events. There could be complicated conflicts of interest behind all this, so I must eliminate all risks in advance. Come on! Stop being so secretive! We still have no idea what's going on! It is not my intention to keep you in the dark, but I need some time to revisit those memories and collect my thoughts. Long story short, a little more than 400 years ago I became the Udex of Fontaine and initiated a series of institutional reforms. There were few people I could trust, but I had two subordinates who were exceptionally trustworthy and capable. Carol, a Melusine, and Vautrin, leader of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. They must have been amazing people to receive such high praise from you! Indeed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to protect them. The reforms damaged the interests of some and the more conservative faction took advantage of Carol's identity to instigate political unrest. Ultimately, they wanted me to yield more of my power. The incident resulted in Carol taking her own life and Vautrin being exiled. From then on, I've been especially careful when dealing with cases related to Melusines. All Melusines used to live a secluded life away from human society. I granted their wishes when some of them, including Carol, asked me to bring them to the court of Fontaine. Many common folk believe that I share a special bond with the Melusines and whatever they do can be traced back to me. Some of them, especially those who hold a grudge against me, exploit that belief and stir up conflict over Melusines in an attempt to lay the blame on me. I have nothing against the opinions of others, but the moment a whirlpool of conspiracy forms, it inevitably affects the innocent. It has already happened once, and I want to make sure it does not happen again. Um, even so, why do you have to be the one investigating? There's the guards, the Mari Chose Phantom, and the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Aren't they more than enough to figure out what's going on? Based on prior experience, there is a high chance that those who hold hostility towards me do not belong to the same department. The political system of Fontaine is relatively complex and involves the interests of multiple different factions. However, since I am technically an outsider in Fontaine, a lot of trouble could be avoided if I personally took on the case. Outsider? 
But aren't you the Chief Justice of Fontaine? Why would you be an outsider? I understand where you are coming from, but there is not necessarily a connection between my responsibilities and how I perceive myself. You know very well about my true identity, and have even met others of my kind in other nations. Even though I was born with a human form, there is a fundamental difference between dragons and humans. Taking on the role of Chief Justice does not make me a part of this community. In fact, the status I was granted has prevented me from forming deeper bonds with others. I have lived in Fontaine for a long time, but I do not belong here. That is why I call myself an outsider, a fish out of water. Yeah, we have nothing to do with all those organizations anyway, so how about we come with you on your investigation? Let's team up and round up all the bad guys lurking in the dark. Hmm, that does not sound like a bad idea. I rarely investigate cases on my own, but with professionals like you around, I'm sure it will go a lot smoother. Oh, <laughs> I'm starting to get a little embarrassed. Just leave it to us. Let us go. We should visit Kiara first and try to gain a better understanding of the situation. Um, so Nuvalet feels like he doesn't truly belong here in Fontaine, but is that really true? Paimon feels like he has a kind of skewed perspective on a lot of things. Anyway, let's catch up with him first. Thank you for your suggestion. I will consider using the more accurate term in private occasions. Please allow me to rephrase. Has a dragon out of water? Ugh. That sounds kind of weird. Let's stick with the previous version instead. today. Kiara. Huh? Monsieur Nouvellet! And you are? Oh, I remember! You're the Traveler and Paimon! I've heard about you. Aw, she's adorable! Hey there, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Is there anything I can do for you? I heard from Sedine that you received a threatening letter. A threatening letter? Oh, right! I remember now! The letter fell through the crack in my door as I was heading out this morning. It said something about catching me, so I thought someone wanted to play hide-and-seek. But Sedine told me it was a threatening letter, and that I could be in danger. But... That's not going to happen with everyone looking after me, right? Have you run into any suspicious-looking people recently? Suspicious-looking people? What counts as suspicious? <laughs> ah! 
Did you think of something? Nope. I don't remember meeting anyone like that. Do you still have the letter with you? I want you to show me what it says. Oh, uh, let's see. Found it. Now then. <clears throat> Get lost. If you don't leave the Mare Chaussee Phantom, I will come and catch you in person. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. A simple threat. Neither the handwriting nor the content itself reveals anything about the writer's intentions. We can't rule out that possibility. Since you can't think of anyone suspicious, I will be heading back to the Palais Memonia to review some official documents. Kiara, you should come with us. It's safer if you stay close by. Sure! Uh, wait, no, no, no. I, I still have a case to work on. I promised Ilof that I'd check on her place later. But you are being watched right now. Going off on your own could be dangerous. And that's where we come in to help! We'll stay with Kiara and make sure she's safe. With us around, anyone scheming to hurt Kiara can forget about it! Thank you, Traveler. Fix this, Paimon. All right, let us go our separate ways for now. Please take care of Kiara. We'll take her to a lost place right away! See you around! So, Kiara, how old are you? Hmm, let me think. One, two, ten? Uh, I can't remember. But I remember coming to the Court of Fontaine with Carolyn Nuvillette. That must have been a long time ago. Carol? Didn't Nervalet mention her just now? That was more than 400 years ago! Why would Paimon be a big sister to you? My memory isn't that good. But Carol told me I could address others based on how I feel about them. Paimon feels a lot more grown up than me, so you're a big sis. Did you hear that? Strange. Hi, Mom felt like someone was following us. Hey, Laugh! Kiara, you're here. Huh? Wait. Aren't these two... Oh, they're the Traveler and Big Sis Paimon. I thought so. What brings you here? Did you run into any trouble? Ah, uh, it's not really trouble anymore with us around. May I begin inspecting the store as planned? Of course. Go ahead. Hazards detected. You've cleared the inspection. Seems like the criminal from that case last month never set foot in here at all. That was quick. What were you inspecting? I took a look around the shop. Nevilet says that us Melazines have special eyes that can see things people can't. Things like blood stains. No matter how hard you try to clean them up, we Melazines can see their residual stains for some time. Pretty cool, huh? All right, all right. Now that you're done inspecting, can we have a chat? Hear me out. I'm planning to release an outfit for children next month and wanted to hire you as my model. Is that okay with you? Of course! Is there anything I need to do? Please wait a moment while I take your measurements. The sample should be a perfect fit. Seems like they get along really well. Huh? What are you looking at? 
there really someone watching us? Shh. Let's sneak over and take a look. Strange. Why isn't he back yet? Gotcha! Charlotte, what are you doing here? Oh, wait, don't tell Paimon you're the one who sent Kiara that threatening letter. But you don't seem like the type to... Threat letter? What threat letter? Uh, this is starting to feel like an interrogation. Okay, I'll be straight with you. I don't know the slightest thing about that threat letter you mentioned. I only wanted to follow Monsieur Nouvellet and request an interview with him. You want to interview him? That's right. I'm not the only one, you know. Interviewing him is every journalist's dream. But it's not an easy task to accomplish. The Palais Mermonia rarely accepts appointment requests from us, and we never have the chance to interrupt when the court's in session. So imagine how surprised I was seeing him out on the streets today. It seemed like you were investigating something, too. The perfect opportunity to whip up an exclusive, don't you think? Of course, I'll make sure to turn in my manuscript to him for review. I have my principles, and I'd never publish an article without the consent of all parties involved. Yeah, we're doing a secret investigation that can't be made public knowledge. I see. Well, if you say so, I guess I'll put this matter aside for now. What a shame. Chances like this don't come by very often, you know. In exchange, could you tell me what the threat letter is about? I swear I won't tell. Alright then. What? Someone's targeting a cute little melazine? Shh, not so loud. It just so happens that I did an interview with Kiara. Last month, in fact. It was well received by our readers, so I was planning to continue the series. And now someone's coming after her? I'll ask my colleagues about it. Who knows? We might find something. And don't worry, I know what I'm doing. This secret's safe with me. But I gotta warn you, even if I keep my lips sealed, others will know eventually. Why? People care a great deal about Monsieur Nouvellet's each and every move. Some may have already realized that something was up. Besides, the case involves melazines, so... Anyway, I'll get going now. Watch yourselves, all right? Well, that was a nice chat. <clears throat> Let's head back and check on Kiara. What do you think? The design looks pretty good, huh? Great! Huh. It's very pretty indeed. Clarag! What are you doing here? It seems that you just showed up out of nowhere! As I passed by the Palais Mermonia, I heard that Nouvellet was investigating a case with you. Technically speaking, he and I are under an employer-employee relationship. It didn't feel right to have my employer personally take on such trivial cases. I happen to have some time at the moment, and came to take a look. I sometimes have my clothes custom-made at this boutique, in any case, so we always have a lot to talk about. Ah, oh, Nervalet sure is lucky to have someone like you. Leave this to me. You should go meet up with Nervalet. Okay then, we'll leave Kiara in your hands. <sighs> Come on, let's go find Nervalet. How's your work been recently? Same as usual. My schedule normally isn't too packed, so I have plenty of time for myself. Oh, then shall we go out to play? How about a beach vacation, like last time? I've even signed up as a volunteer lifeguard. I'm really good at swimming, so I'm sure I can help.
Oh, you're back. Is everything all right? We ran into Clarand. She offered to help us protect Kiara. That is good to hear. I trust her abilities. It looks like Kiara is in good hands. We thought so too. Well, did you find any leads? I've been looking over the case records. Specifically, inspection reports submitted by Kiara and major cases I've judged over the past decade. I've come up with two plans. On one hand, I could start with Kiara and track down the group behind all this step by step. On the other, I could also analyze the conflicting interests of these major cases and confirm my suspicions if there is indeed a mysterious group that bears a grudge against me. They both sound like pretty solid plans, but can you really finish browsing through all these documents? That's a lot of reading, even for Paimon. Don't worry. I'm a fast reader when it comes to official documents. After all, I have several hundred years of reviewing under my belt. We'll help you read through them. We have nothing else to do. Thank you. I will continue looking through the ones piled up on the desk, but feel free to browse through anything else in this room. Have you made any progress? We skipped through some of them, but there wasn't anything useful. Oh, there are so many documents lying around. Just how many cases have you handled? I would love to answer that question, but the truth is I've never made a precise calculation myself. If memory serves me right, there should be at least 100,000 cases. The documents you see are just a small fraction of what's really there. Chief Justice isn't easy at all. That might be how it seems from another's perspective, but trials and official duties are, to me, simply routine. There are many documents here. Take a break if you are tired. <sighs> you read Paimon's mind. All right. 
Let us take a break then. Please pardon my lack of consideration. People rarely come to the Palais Memonia for matters outside of work. To be quite honest, I am not sure what we should do. Would you like to have some drinks, perhaps? You must be thirsty after all that work. what Novelette likes to drink. Oh, maybe he's a fan of really fancy wines. He seems like the type of person who'd own an entire winery. You know, like D. Luke. Uh, what's inside these glasses? It looks just like water. An astute observation. It is indeed water. What did you think it was? Um, since you're the Chief Justice and all, Paimon thought you'd prefer something more... sophisticated. This water is indeed very special. It would not be an overstatement to call it sophisticated. Huh? I believe you've already tried Fanta. In fact, there are many other drink factories in Fontaine including those that specialize in packaging pure drinking water. Said water is sourced from all across Tevat, including Mondstadt's Cider Lake, Liu's Chintsa Village, and Inazuma's Konda Village. Here is one of their latest products, water from Sumeru's Apam Woods. If I were to comment on their mouthfeel, hmm, the waters of Cider Lake warm the heart, the waters of Chintsa Village have a poignant touch, while one might call the waters of Konda Village uh, placid. Distinct differences exist between the waters of each area. You will appreciate their intricacies once you taste them carefully. Regrettable. It seems like you still have a long way to go in refining your tastes. Hey, this doesn't have to do with refining our tastes. Paimon's pretty sure most ordinary people can't tell the difference. How did you do it anyway? Oh, could it be because you're the Hydro Dragon? Uh, we are allowed to bring that up, right? Since no one else is around? Oh, Paimon! to ask this for ages. If you're the Hydro Dragon, why would you become Chief Justice in human society? Hmm. Uh, sorry. Paimon was just curious. You don't have to answer. There's nothing to hide. I was simply organizing my thoughts. I accepted this position because I wanted to seek out answers to questions that have perplexed me. Are there really things you can't figure out? Many, in fact. But the one question that puzzles me the most concerns my own existence. In essence, I neither know why I was born in this form, nor do I understand where my long life should take me. For a long time, my memory was rather incomplete. With regard to the Primordial Sea, for example, I used to only be able to vaguely recall its connection to me, but I was unaware of what that connection was exactly.
Perhaps the elemental dragons of other nations may have some form of an answer. However, they are scattered across all of Tevat. Abruptly visiting could very well pose an unpredictable risk. True. Some of them have very... unique personalities, too. I have been holding on to these unanswered questions for a long time. But there is one thing I've discovered along the way. My emotions easily resonate with those of others. Even I don't have the slightest idea what they mean. My guess would be that there are at least some similarities between humans and myself. By observing their behavior, perhaps I could one day understand the meaning of my existence. Have you made any progress then? Perhaps, but I find such progress difficult to describe. As an outsider, chances to engage in meaningful interactions with others are few and far between. That's why I'm quite thankful for this chat. Such opportunities are rare. <sighs> Alas, time is limited. We should move on with our investigation. Are we gonna continue reading these documents? Ugh, oh, Paimon's getting dizzy already. I wasn't able to find any leads even after browsing through most of the documents. But while we were on the topic of water a moment ago, another idea came to me. Water? Do you mean... That's right. The Fountain of Lucene is where all of Fontaine's waters converge. It is the vessel of countless memories and emotions. If there really were an organization attempting to use Melusines against me, they should also hold an intense resentment towards me. Perhaps we'll be able to find some new leads by sensing the Hydro Element within the Fountain. Huh. Why didn't Paimon think of that? Come on, let's go take a look! Perhaps we should go. There shouldn't be too many people near the Fountain of Lucene during the evening. Monsieur Nervillette? I probably shouldn't disturb them. <sighs> Looks like we got lucky today. There's hardly anyone around. What should we do next? Oh, Traveler, can you still hear the voices from the fountain? Perhaps leave the investigation to me. I need you to take a few steps back and keep a safe distance. A safe distance? Nevelette, what exactly are you? I understand your excitement, but there's no need to thank me. Although I have responded to your wishes, it was not without personal interest. Melusine's special sight make them especially suited for joining the Mare Chaussée Phantom. I'm certain you'll become an indispensable part of Fontaine's detective force. 
I know, but I'm really glad to be of help. Not only can I repay you for your kindness, but also, it feels like my life has become a lot more meaningful. But a meaningful life also comes with its risks. It's definitely the safest to just stay in the village, but I want to see the outside world nonetheless. In truth, I've never really understood the purpose of my existence, or what I'm capable of contributing to this world. For almost 20 years, we've stayed in our village without finding any answers. That's why we wanted to leave our village and look for the meaning of our existence elsewhere. <sighs> I understand your confusion. In fact, I feel the same way. I too came here for an answer to my questions about my own existence. Really? Could you tell us what we should do to fit in as you did? The truth is, many people threw rocks at us today and told us to go back to our village. It hurt a lot when they hit me in the head, and I tried really hard not to cry. Logically speaking, both time and effort are essential when different species attempt to peacefully coexist. It will be a difficult road ahead, with countless obstacles to overcome. Different identities and ways of thinking all contribute to strengthening the barrier between one another. Removing it will be no easy feat. There aren't many suggestions I can share, because just like you, I haven't fully integrated into this society. Despite my social status, I am still an outsider. Oh, I see. Let's all do our best, then! I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. I believe in you, but you shouldn't lose sight of the difficulties ahead. If you run into any trouble, I suggest that you inform Votran, the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Huh? Is he the person I met in the Palais Marmonia earlier? Yes. Do you have any concerns? That stone-faced human... He didn't even bother to look at me when I tried talking to him. It felt like he wasn't interested in anything but work. He is an earnest man. There will be plenty of opportunities to work together in the future, so please try to get along. No need. Oh. Hello, I'm Carol, a melazine. Is there anything you need help with? Get away from here. I'm calling the guards. Please, calm down. I don't mean to cause any harm. Hmm, hard to say. Yeah. We should probably stay away from these monsters. Haven't you realized? Strange incidents have been increasing ever since they came. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? I can't believe Nervilite allowed them into the court of Fontaine just like that. Exactly. That so-called Chief Justice even granted them official positions. Not only that, but they're now responsible for investigating cases as well. I swear, there's some hidden agenda at play here. Go away! Quit acting innocent! I'm not leaving! I won't let you say bad stuff about him! We joined the Mari Chaussee Phantom and solved lots and lots of cases! We've never done anything wrong! Solving cases? With Nervilet in cahoots with you! You could have fabricated it all, and no one would know! So tell me, how can you guarantee that you Melazines aren't involved in anything that occurred recently? Uh, I... Didn't I tell you before? Don't go advertising if you're not a good talker. Votre? Aside from spreading unjustified rumors, if you continue insulting members of the Mare Chaussee Phantom, the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol has every right to subject you to interrogation. There have indeed been an increase in cases recently, 
perhaps due to the shifting currents of conspiracy, and I understand your concern. However, there's been no evidence pointing towards Melazine's being involved. <laughs> Even the captain of the security patrol is on their side. Nervilet's newly reformed police force is already corrupt to the core. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? You heard that? Yeah. I don't understand. Why won't anyone believe us? There have been rumors saying that you were born from calamity, and that you inherently bring danger to those around you. There are countless negative rumors about you floating around in Fontaine. It's near impossible for you to become a part of this society. Best if you give up before it's too late. Monsieur Nervalette said that we needed to put both time and effort in. I don't know how long it'll take, but I can at least try making my best effort. I still want to try a little harder. Thank you for bailing me out earlier. <sighs> Okay, I won't be taking any more of your time. I painted a lot of flyers last night, so I have to stay and hand them out to everyone. Give them to me. You're, you're not gonna take them away, right? We'll hand them out together. The faster we get this done, the sooner we can head back. Medals of Peace, awarded to you and Votram. Thank you for your continued dedication in the past five years. You've taken one small step forward in helping Melusines gain the trust of humans. I think I'll pass. Hey, don't say that! We wouldn't have made it this far without you! It won't be long before Melusines begin living peacefully with the humans! Just the thought of it makes me happy. Don't keep your hopes up. We've barely scratched the surface. There's still a long way to go before that dream of yours comes true. Ugh, you blockhead! Don't ruin the mood! Hmm. Botran brings up a good point. The trust humans have placed in you is still very fragile. Any small incident could undermine the hard work you've put in. Please be on your guard for the next few days. Yes, sir. Okay, got it! Medal of Peace? <laughs> peace isn't going to give us back what's rightfully ours. Are you sure we should do this? We're no match for Nervalette, even with all our powers combined. What if... Nah, not gonna happen. As long as he remains in his position, there's no chance he'd take us out personally. There are rules even he must comply with in the political sphere. Unless he wants to become an enemy of Fontaine. So quit worrying and just go ahead with it. I've already planned out the murder. Once we lay the blame on the Melazines as the person who brought them to the court of Fontaine, Nervy Lett will be left with no excuse. I guess you're right. Ugh. If he just left things the way they were, it never would have come to this. But he's forced our hand. Time to teach him a lesson. Turn the murderer in! Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalette, too! Peaceful coexistence? What a joke! Get out of the court of Fontaine and don't ever come back! The results of the investigation are in, Captain Voltron. Go on. 
There is no direct evidence, but reasonable inference indicates that the ones controlling the situation are supporters of the old regime, whose interests have been undermined by the reform. They tricked Miss Carroll into going to the crime scene and pressed charges against her. After that, they incited panic among the people in order to make Monsieur Nervillette confess to his mistakes and yield up power. The guards were stopped by the enraged mob and couldn't intervene in time. Miss Carroll chose to sacrifice herself to pacify the situation. And she called me a blockhead. A little investigation would have cleared things up. Why didn't she wait until we'd established the truth? She didn't have to prove her innocence like that. The situation had rapidly escalated to a physical altercation between infuriated citizens and the guards. Miss Carol might have thought there was no better plan. That is indeed something she'd do. Captain Voltrin, should I present these results to Monsieur Nervillette right away? There's no need. Notify the guards to restrict public access to all information. Restrict access to... Wait, are you planning to... There's something I've never told Carol. I had a little sister named Delaria who passed away when I was very young. She's just like Carol in every possible way. Innocent, kind, always believing the best of people. People like her are the most vulnerable to deception and betrayal. From the moment I met Carol, I knew that she'd be easily manipulated by others. I kept a cold demeanor and tried lecturing her into giving up. Looks like she was unfazed by that. Yes. In fact, some of her spirit must have rubbed off on me instead. Because I too began working towards that pie-in-the-sky dream of hers. I should have known. Those cowards don't have the guts to confront New Villette. They even avoided causing trouble for me. They were after Carol all along. Can you understand how I feel? Right now, there's only one thought on my mind. Only through bloodshed can their debt be repaid. I understand, but I'm certain Monsieur Nervillette wouldn't accept that as a solution. That's exactly why we need to keep this a secret. Give me the list of suspects. What happens after this has nothing to do with any of you. I will take responsibility for everything. <laughs>